Okay, I'm looking for a puppy volunteer. Anyone out there who loves the Marvel movies? Anyone? Okay, cool. Any pups who love Rocket the Raccoon? Final question, what pup loves wearing costumes? Oh my gosh, it looks like Stark, you're the best man for the job. Here is what we will need to construct this costume. Oversized t-shirts, elastic, craft foam, and some brown or black fabric. Here I just found a shiny cheap fabric and then I also got some firm felt. Oh, and some Velcro. The reason I got an oversized t-shirt is because it has to fit comfortably over Stark's back. The front will be oversized, but we'll take care of that. Now it's time to make some measurements so that we can make this nice and comfy for our pups. First measurement I'm going to make is how long his shoulder pieces need to be. So I'm just gonna measure the length from the front of his shoulder over his shoulder to the back. Just make sure you get a very large t-shirt so that your dog can move comfortably. You do not want to put them in any sort of uncomfortable situation or impact their movement at all. Now I'm going to measure the length from the collar of the shirt to his shoulder. It's very short. This is just because we're going to be cutting the sleeves off and I want to make sure I cut off a large enough hole. Then I measure from the top of the shirt down most of his back. We're gonna make two pieces of this costume that are gonna overlap each other in the middle. Now, this is my version of pants for pups. If you saw his nibbler costume, you know that this is just a very easy way to make pants because it fits them super well because there's already a hole for the tail and the legs. And I'm going to measure around him with lots of extra room in there. I mean, he's very hairy, so his hair takes up a lot of space, but there's still extra room that I can comfortably move around. Now we're going to cut the sleeves off of that t-shirt. That little itty bitty section that I measured, I just made a straight line down from that to the edge of the sleeve, and then I just cut it off. For the elastic, I'm gonna take that measurement I did around his waist area, sew the elastic together, and pin it to the t-shirt as far down as I measured the length of his back. I measured the width of his chest, and I cut the shirt right down the middle, sewed the middle pieces together so that on one side, only one side, it was short. I then wrapped the bottom around the elastic and pinned it, and then you just sew straight to the elastic. With a firmer black textured felt, I just sewed it around the sleeve holes and the front of the neck. Again, I don't want to impact his movement anymore, so I'm using fabric for a lot of things, where on humans you would probably use a firm craft foam or something. Here is our Stark wearing the costume as it is. As you can see, the sleeves are super big, so I pinned it down so they're a little bit smaller, and I'll sew that on in a second. And you can see that the front of the shirt is now a little smaller, but we kept all of the length over the top of his back. See, there you can see the line where I cut it. Now I'm going to take more of that firmer textured felt and make three lines across on the front. And I'm just gonna sew them onto the shirt. I'm going to use my scrap fabric from cutting off the sleeves and I'm gonna cut a strip of craft foam that covers a good chunk of the front of his shirt and then I'm just gonna glue the fabric to the piece of craft foam and I'm gonna leave some length on either end of it long ways and you'll see why in a second. Now it's time to work with the craft foam. For this example, I'm just gonna show you making the shoulder pieces. So I used the measurement 
to decide how long this rectangle is gonna be. The shoulders are super easy because I'm just using rectangles. And then I cut that out of the craft foam. If you first wanna use paper to make your shape that's easier, go for it. This is just a rectangle, so I'm just gonna cut it out. And then just be sure to label your pieces so you can keep track of them. Now for the remainder of the pieces, I'm going to be using some reference photos. I'm making a piece for his backpack since, again, this is for a dog, so I don't want it to be an actual backpack because that could be cumbersome and uncomfortable. So I'm just going to be cutting out some craft foam. Then I'm also going to be making some side armor pieces and leg armor pieces. In order to give the costume just a little bit more dimension, I'm also gonna cut out some separate pieces of armor to lay them over top. Keep in mind that I'm making this extremely simplistic and you can add as much detail as you would like. So if you want it to be more detailed and accurate, go for it. I wanted his costume to include a metallic feel in it, so I painted the top part of his little backpack with a metallic silver paint, but it's optional since the backpack itself is not actually silver. I then used the brown fabric and I cut out sections to cover one side of the craft foam. You can use pieces large enough to cover the entire piece of craft foam, but to conserve fabric, I just made it fit around the edges and then I glued them in place. Once all of the pieces are done, you can use hot glue to secure the layers on top of each other. Time to assemble this costume. For the backpack section, I just hand sewed it in place in a couple of spots for now. The leg armor pieces I hot glued into place, and I'm going to use Velcro for a lot of the placement as well. That way, it's easier to put the costume on and there's more movement if needed. And I got the Velcro that has the sticky sides. So all you do is rip off one piece and attach it to a point and then take its matching piece and put it where you want it to go. And then you just leave it on there for a couple minutes to make sure it's sticky. For the belt section, I hand sewed it in place in the middle of the back but the side flaps I decided to use as Velcro as well. Again, it's all about comfort and getting it on and off comfortably, and so that Stark is able to move as freely as he needs to. Now for those shoulder pieces, I hand sewed them in the front section and I Velcroed them underneath the backpack in the back. Now if you want, you can then secure the backpack a little bit more now that you know where it's going. Here's a nice view of Stark just lounging around in it and you can see that there's lots of movement. And best of all, it's comfortable. So he's able to sit or lay down or frolic. If your pup is going to be spending a lot of time outside, I would advise you to leave it off the pants section of the costume so that they can do their business. Thanks everyone so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you try it, please let us know in the comments. That would be super awesome to see your pups all dressed up like a rocket. Check out the other videos on my channel and have a happy Halloween.